Okay, part. So it means a part also involved in the regulation of the kidneys. An increase in blood flow to the both the auricles of the heart. At that time, in this region, is the auricle free this kind of a hormone that is called atrial. Atrial nephrotic factor and increasing blood flow to the articles of the heart immediately at the moment. So, here articles release a kind of a hormone that is called atrial nephrotic factor, short form atrial nephrotic factor. AF, atrial nephrotic factor. So, this atrial nephrotic factor can reduce the blood flow, can reduce the blood flow. Globular blood pressure, there will be globular filtration. So, when the blood pressure is increased at that time, both the auricles release a kind of hormone that is called atrial nephrotic factor. Atrial nephrotic factor. So, this factor can reduce the blood pressure. How? So, this factor is involved in vasodilation. Vasodilation of blood vessels. Vasodilation of blood vessels. Okay, so vasodilation of blood vessels. Vasodilation means what? Expansion. Expansion of blood vessels. Okay, see here. <coughs> First, an increase in blood flow to the both the auricles of the heart. At the time, auricle releases a kind of a hormone that is called atrial, atrial nephrotic uretic factor. Atrial uretic factor. Atrial atrial nephrotic uretic factor. So this factor. Involved in the vasodilation, vaso, vasodilation of blood vessels. Vasodilation means expansion of the blood vessels. Vasodilation of blood vessels means expansion of the blood vessels. Expansion of the blood vessels means what? The blood vessel is expanded. Then automatically the blood pressure is a decrease. The blood pressure is a decrease. Okay, therefore, atrial nephrotic uretic factor acts as check renin angiotensin mechanism. Renin angiotensin mechanism increases blood pressure by constantly affecting of blood vessels. Renin angiotensin mechanism involved in construction, constructly affecting of blood vessels, decreases the length of the blood vessels, then blood pressure is increased. So the atrial nephrotic uretic factor helps in expansion of the blood vessels. Therefore, atrial nephrotic factor acts as check the renin, renin, renin angiotensin mechanism, renin angiotensin mechanism. Okay, so there, about the point, renin angiotensin mechanism will increase the blood pressure Atrial nephrotic factor, expansion of the blood vessels. That means it decrease the vessels. In such a way, these three organs, that is hypothalamus, gesture medullary apparatus, and the heart, monitor the kidney functions and regulate its functions. If one hormone raises the blood pressure, another hormone decreases the Okay, atrial nephrotic factor. Check the renin angiotensin mechanism. Okay, this is the explanation about regulation of kidney function. Regulation of regulation of kidney function.
Next one. One to one point five liters. 
presence of uh, urine is eliminated. Okay, healthy individuals. In sugar patients, it varies. I'm speaking about healthy individuals. Healthy individuals releases uh, 1 to 1.5 liters of uh, urine per day. So generally, the urine color is light yellow color. Light yellow color with the water. Okay, water compulsory. Light yellow color with the water is very good. It has a characteristic odor. Character urine smell, everybody knows that. It has a characteristic odor. Odor means smell. Okay, so um healthy individuals can release 96% of water. Through urine, healthy individual can release 96% of water. And 2% of urea and 2% of these are these are substances. These are substances. On an average per day, 25 to 30 grams, 30 grams of urine is excreted through sorry, 25 to 30 grams of urea is excreted through Okay. Yes. Generally, so the concentration of the the quantity of the quantity and the composition of urine is varies some days. Every day, you know, all days same quantity, same concentration, same composition, we cannot eliminate. We cannot eliminate. Okay. So the quantity of food water and composition. The composition of food, urine is varies from one day to another. Generally, so the urine analysis, the urine analysis helps in clinical diagnosis of food, metabolic disorders and any other defects of the kidney. When we will analyze the urine, that urine analysis helps in clinical analysis of food, metabolic disorders. And if any malfunctions, malfunctioning of the kidney, malfunctioning means defects of the kidney can easily identify. So, generally, 50 years old women or men, if they will analysis their urine, immediately they can identify what are the disorders, what are the metabolic disorders are there in their body. Or else any kidney defects are there or not, we can identify those all the things through. For example, if excessive amount of glucose is present, that is called glycosuria. 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 If excessive amount of ketone bodies, excessive amount of glucose is called glycosuria. Excessive amount of ketone bodies are present, ketosuria. Ketonuria. Those are the indicative of diabetes mellitus. If excessive amount of glucose and ketone bodies are present in the urine, that indication is that they are suffering from diabetes mellitus. Diabetes. Diabetes mellitus. If they find the excess amount of glucose is called glucosuria. Excess amount of ketone is called ketonuria. That is the indication of you. They are suffering from diabetes mellitus. In such a way, urine analysis helps to the doctors to identify metabolic disorders and any kidney defects. Okay, that is the explanation about urine. If you have any doubts, ask me.